know it was Hohenheim of Light. You say it so formally. Why don't you just call him Dad? Did he live this way too? Stealing bodies, creating wars? And for what purpose? Because we were worth it. What the hell's that supposed to mean? You ruin thousands of lives to create each Philosopher's Stone. Then you take it for yourself so you can live longer. And you actually think that's justified? Humans can't handle the stone. Right. So you have the mercy to take it from them. The grace to kill anyone who was involved. So only the legend remains. I'm glad you understand so well. Humans are controlled by their sins, and the Philosopher's Stone has power far greater than any weapon ever forged. So I've taken cities. Humans would destroy the world. The lives lost have been necessary martyrs, saving mankind from itself. I am the Guardian, the Shepherd of Sins. I have to live on to prevent you humans from doing something foolish with the stone. Don't kid yourself! You're a human just like us! Not anymore. Lost! Lost! Where are you? You're breaking my heart, Edward, talking to me this way. I was looking forward to taking her body and being loved by the son of Hohenheim. So it's Rose this time, huh? Yes. I have to celebrate the newly born stone. What have you done with Al? No, no! What have you done with Lost? Why don't you ask him, Gluttony? Where's my lust? I'm sorry, but she's gone. That gone? That gone? Yeah, Wrath killed her. She died trying to help me. Gluttony, stop this. I can't. You don't have feelings. Let's do it! I knew it. Your soul can't sustain bodies anymore. It's been attached too many times. Equivalent exchange. Every time you jump, you lose part of yourself. Equivalence. Don't tell me you still believe in that naive theory. It's no theory. It's the absolute law of alchemy. No, of the whole world. To obtain anything, something of equal value must be lost. You couldn't have gotten anywhere without knowing that. A beautiful story, told to comfort the oppressed and make children do their lessons. The truth is, the law of equivalent exchange is a lie. Impossible! To gain something of equal value must be lost. Conversely, if you give something up, you will always gain a prize of equal worth in return. Exactly. That's why people work hard at anything they do, because it pays off. Wrong. People work because they believe it will pay, but equal effort does not always mean equal gain. Like what? Consider the state alchemy exam which you passed with flying colors. How many others took the test that day? Spent months, years preparing, some working much harder than you. Yet you were the only one who passed. Where was their reward? Is it their fault they lacked your natural talent? Or what about the equal value of each person's life? <laughs> if I just clap my hands, this baby won't survive. Stop it! And if I do it, where is the world's balance in that? Does it mean the baby was only born so that it could die? It's doing all an infant can to survive. Breathing, crying for help. But what does it get in exchange? People can say there is a balance, a logic that everything happens for a reason. But the truth is far less designed. No matter how hard you work, when you die, you die. Some spend their entire life trying to scratch their way to the top and still die in poverty. While others are born into wealth without ever working at all. It's a cruel and random world, and yet the chaos is all so beautiful. That's enough, Dante! My baby! Equivalent exchange is a myth. A contrived order to give sense to a world that has none. Can you accept that now, or do you need another demonstration? Don't use a child to fuel your agenda! Your dad said that too. 